shout out to today's sponsor, Rose Forever. They recently sent me a beautiful box of lavender roses. And I've worked with them before, and I guarantee you from experience that these roses actually last more than over a year. They still smell the same, and they still look the same. If you don't have them this Valentine's Day for your Valentine, you are missing out on a great gift and really a great investment since you don't need to throw them away. So go down to my link in the description to go to their store and use code CDUB40 for $40 off, as well as code INFLUENCER for free shipping. Make sure you get yours today, for Valentine's Day is coming up, but once again, thank you to Rose Forever. Uh, I guess we'll have to 
sad to see how the night goes. <laughs> uh, so that's tonight, and then I had to volunteer for another one of my classes. It's like a political class. I had to politically engage, volunteer hours, whatever. <sighs> but I'm not going to act like I'm the only one who has this stuff, because I know you watching. I know y'all have all the same stuff going on and, and whatnot, but it, it's good to get it out of your head. It's good to rant. It's good to, to do this, and that's why I wanted to make this video. Um, I swear I always get text messages while I'm filming, but I, I had to wake up early today. I go get breakfast, I'm actually starting to drink more coffee. Yeah. If you go back to my older videos, you'll probably hear that I did not drink coffee. Well, that changed. Uh, it changed big time. I now drink, I don't know. I try to stay away from the sugary stuff, so the caramel lattes, vanilla lattes, uh, every once in a while at my dining hall, I'll just have a regular latte, coffee and milk, no sweeteners or anything. espresso for ourselves every morning and I have myself a cup of espresso every single morning no milk no sweeteners and no nothing pure coffee I have it every morning and I like it because it, since it's not sugary I don't crash at all it's just a good consistent I'm not too caffeinated, but I'm, I'm not too decaffeinated. It's just, it's the perfect amount. It's natural. We actually go to H-E-B and blend it ourselves or grind it ourselves. So we pick all like the roast. If y'all aren't familiar with H-E-B, it's the grocery store down here in Texas. The grocery store. And I'm sure I definitely know other places that have this too. I'm not just saying H-E-B has it. Um, you pick your coffees. So there's just lines of coffee. And you can pick which ones you want. There's different brands, different roast, different all of that. And since we do espresso, we do the I believe it's like a dark roast. And you put your bag underneath it. All the coffee beans pour out. And then you just have the bag full of actual coffee beans. Like you can hold and it's an actual coffee bean. Then you just dump them into a, a, a grinder it, press grind, and we do it grind to uh, espresso, and out comes the coffee grounds, and there you go, and <clears throat> no joke, it is totally worth it, it is totally worth it, so we for two weeks have been drinking off of this one trip to the store. And just to put into perspective the efficiency of this, I'm going to put y'all, I'm about to put y'all on, alright? You better have your listening ears, uh, listening ears on. One trip for two weeks worth of coffee. Six dollars and ten cents. 
and we drink it between the both of us. Six dollars and ten cents for two weeks. Times two, that's twelve dollars and twenty cents for a month's worth of coffee every single day. And if you're alone, that stuff may even last you a month. I'm telling y'all, some of these coffee shops, man, they, it's $6.10 for a cup of coffee, <laughs> depending on where you go. It's insane what these places charge. So we've been saving a lot of money. We don't go to the coffee shop anymore, only if we're studying. It's sort of like a treat to myself to get a caramel or vanilla latte. But I'm putting y'all on, all right? I'm putting y'all on. <laughs> and do y'all remember Beyblades? I know I'm not the only one. I recently asked my mom, <laughs> no joke, I know this probably sounds lame, but I asked my mom recently that, well, I asked where my Beyblades were <laughs> because I wanted to play with them. You know, when you want to play something and you just crave it. That's how I feel with Beyblades right now for some reason or another. I just really want to play with my Beyblades. <laughs> When I was younger, I used to run tournaments with them, and I'd, I'd give them their own names. I never watched the anime, or never, I never kept up with any of the actual TV show, whatever. I gave them names myself, and my best friend back in Chicago, we'd play with them like every day of the summer, and we'd do big tournaments, and and a league with it, like we make divisions and that MVP and all of that. Man. And I don't know, I guess I've really just been thinking recently why don't we still play with our, our, our favorite toys, like uh, <laughs> my favorites growing up were Beyblades and Army Men. I loved Army Men. It's like, why, why can't we? Nothing said just because I'm in college. It don't matter. So whenever I go back uh, to the house, I'll have to get them and run some tournaments with them. Man, I can't believe I just admitted that to y'all, but hey. And also... and roughnecks just i'm so excited for the month of march i want february gone i want march because you have march madness basketball love march madness then you have i like the brackets march madness brackets baseball season starting i drafted my very first Fantasy Baseball League this season, and I'm so hyped because it is for money. It is for cash if I win, and baseball is the sport I know best because I played it for 13, 14 years. So uh, let me just tell y'all, I got like the highlights for pitcher. I got Zach Wheeler. Right, that's a dub. Zach Wheeler. Outfield. My outfield is stacked. My, my infield, I have uh, Gunnar Henderson. Hope he does well. Uh, I have the, the Guardian second baseman. I can't remember his name right now. Um, I'm to, uh, Jimenez. Jimenez. Who else? Just blank. Oh, uh, Contreras, a catcher, not the old Cubs, but his, his brother. But my outfield, Kyle Tucker for the Astros. Jordan Alvarez for the Astros. I pray to God this guy can stay healthy 
with USFL merged league. They kick off as well. Y'all know me. I've been a diehard Houston Roughnecks fan for four years now. And I just can't wait to see them play again. I love my Houston Roughnecks. So comment down below if you're going to go out to some of the games. I'd love to meet you out there. You already know I'm going to get season tickets. And we're going to be chilling. But anyways, I as our train gives us the outro here. This was a really fun ramble to do. I just felt the need to do this. And remember, you are loved. You look amazing today. So always keep that in mind. To just be awesome. All right? Be awesome. Do what you want to do. And tell your family you love them. All right? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like it.